headspace. Got them all moving defensive. I'm out in the field, these gatekeepers, they putting up fences. But me, I got plans, plans got legs, plus plenty connections. I'm stagging in war speed bag full of dumps, they sitting on benches. They living in the past, they're shilling with presence and future tenses. I used to vent, but now I just hold it, save my breath. They ain't ready for the levels, but they're out here moving relentless. Lies within each of us. Press for the cake, ain't never been so, so treacherous. Sound boys moving like models and bus stars, everything electric. Everything waste. These times too big, riding in Tesla. Everything CD, yeah, turns PD, everything fitness. But if I want to ride with the squad, then man, I just way too reckless. Way too reckless. The second my day one does, I'm practical, then my bridges. Everything real, everything cold, we're not into them flexes. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you the truth, I heard their truth But as soon as I did it, it was that I can't go Cause when I'm spraying out bare technology yeah, Shells going off, let it ring like Samsung From a long time I've been moving gorgeous Coming from Salford, six where it's over there But we're living in the 14th floor in Pong Tree Court And the hood looks rough there Try and make a few moves with my brother Them I tell you, my G's fully invested Kai's freezing cold, got a snow and out here And the young G's feeling festive And we got more shells than Italian pasta Sitting in your kitchen, captain And we treat like medicine So we don't deal with no vitamin tablets Yeah, man, I've only known it the two mile range just bubble down worldwide My missus is parking the whip of the year I'll scratch to the rims on the curb side It's another culture on my side So I got a shout out on the Angolans Get about with the Romanians And I got a shout out man from Poland We keep shedding it whenever they're speaking I can't see the benefit Whenever they're talking I can't see the target Just keep shedding it, letting it Large on my brother them though Do you get mad this season got dealt with Bare enough shells in the studio It's all going offset man I get Our cameras on one man. A hat trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello and welcome wherever you're watching. This is Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Everton versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Andre Gomes in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here. But there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. Well, when you have the best defensive record in the league, it's a sign of genuine togetherness. And that's what United keep on showing, Stuart. 
Well, they've been so hard to break down this season, and key to that has been the centre-back combinations. They've looked so assured, they've been excellent right from the start. Very quick thinking there. Well, news of a goal update in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott? It's a goal for Brighton. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They've scored the opener here with 13 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Good work from Everton to win the ball back. So a throw in here. Well, possibilities inside the box. The size to shoot. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Well, the crowd know that set pieces could be their best chance. Just listen to that reaction. Oh, a tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. And the keeper left us in no doubt that that was always going to be his ball. Oh, he's through here. Still a chance. And the keeper to the rescue. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top-class save. He's driven in the corner. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. One nil then. An important interception. Isaac. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. But it didn't end up being a significant advantage. And so a free kick here. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Excellent strike! And that is goalkeeping of the very highest order. Corner to United as they look to extend their lead. Now sending it in. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Not trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. Well, something has changed in the Brentford match, I'm just hearing. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Arsenal. They've scored the opener with 29 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Can he put it away? And a fine stop. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. So the corner played into the box. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Making a bit of headway. Part of the final analysis, it was good defending. Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. Happy to take on the shot. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Isaac. Given away by Manchester United. Marcus Rashford. He's in with a chance. And a goal here for Manchester United. They are the big favourites now.
Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Ducure. Here's Isaac. Happy to shoot. It was on its way in. Ducure. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, superb save! Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Poor execution with regard to the corner. So, with that, the first half comes to an end, and Matt are possibilities inside. So back in business, Everton's difficulties there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? Let's find out. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Out of play and an Everton throw-in forthcoming. McNeil. And now Gay. Gomsch. Idrissa Gay, and a good tackle. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Everton facing Nottingham Forest. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Casemiro, delivering it into the box. There it is, a fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Andre Gomes. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Well, there's a living, breathing example of positional sense. Malassia. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Viertz. Real chance. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here it is again, and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. A lopsided contest, 4-0. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, I'm hearing someone has scored in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott, fill us in. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 67 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Wiertz. Intelligent threaded pass here. And the flag does go up offside. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. 
And Everton regaining possession. Harrison. Now Gay. Nicely saved. Delivering it. Not the most confident clearance. And the move breaks down. Lisandro Martinez. And here is Malasia. Good visualization and execution. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Right, I'm hearing something has happened in the Forest game. What exactly? Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Brighton. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with eight. Well, he gave it real leather, but miles off target. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Brighton have scored in that match. And they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. Strong hand on that one. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Manchester United unable to hold on to the ball. Teammates available. But they dealt with the threat posed. Oh, good-looking run. And really going for power, but the opportunity's been squandered. But I'm not sure going for power was the right option. I think that should have been placed into the corner. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And offside. High pressing and good high pressing. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance all told? Well, they've been great defensively, as we know. But it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more. You. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. Just a moment of your time. Thank you. They know what's at stake. Just a point required to guarantee their passage through to the knockout stages. We'll have it live on EA TV. 
Well, the Bosphorus is very much part of the story here in Istanbul, and we're on the European side of it at the home of Galatasaray. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight as Manchester United look to make certain of their presence in the knockout stages. It's Galatasaray up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, I've been really impressed with United. But... And he might be through here. And a fierce effort, but not accurate enough. Well, as you said, he went for power, but he's just off target. A bit unlucky, really. Running room galore for United. Well, possibilities in the centre. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And the header from Rashford is brilliant. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to be in the box. That's a top-class header. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Will he play it in? Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. Ziyech. Well, we're receiving news of a goal in the Bayern game. Alex, what can you tell us? It's a goal for Bayern Munich. They've scored the opener with 13 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And passing it through. Rashford with possibilities. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Corner given to United. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. Wilfried Zaha. And Mertens, well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Galatasaray doing well to regain possession. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. They know they need to stop him. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Dries Mertens. Lucas Torreira now. Here's Icardi. That's a good pass. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. They are a goal down, but perhaps a chance to create something from this corner. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Chance to cross. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Well, here we are on the cusp of the half-time interval. It's Manchester United holding the edge. Stuart, your assessment of what you've seen from them. And it's in for Manchester United. They are on a victory course.
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Dries Martins. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. Well, as you can see, Galatasaray have enjoyed more of the ball, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. Now Mertens has offered himself as the runner. And he takes it on. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Oh, that's not a good clearance. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, they're going for the short one. Torreira on to Demia Bay. no way through this might be ideal for the counter need to get back quickly here gorgeous pass from Rashford it was an excellent example of how to break at pace well that's counter-attacking football at its best they switch on so quickly when they win the ball back it deserved a goal Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester United taking on Newcastle United. An aesthetically pleasing attack, and it's gone through Icardi. He has teammates around him. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Who can he pick out? Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Well, behind for another corner. And that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. Good idea. Oh, but just unable to unlock the defence. Oh, danger here. Oh, genuine chance. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. And just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. 
So the action underway once more, and it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. Icardi. Shaping to shoot. Got to it easily, the keeper. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Mertens. And slipped through beautifully. Oh, good save. I'm trying to switch the play, but he overhit it. Torreira. Florian Wirtz. And given away. Mertens. Making sure it didn't get past him. Manchester United not properly keeping hold of the ball here. Now, oh, can they hit them on the counter? Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Cross towards that far post. Still not clear. Rashford. Well, not coming close to hitting the target from there. And they will make the change now. But it comes down to the final five minutes. Mauro Icardi here. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Could be a chance to break here. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here, and they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top... Just a moment of your time. Don't
his head and stick it to my side, the pain and pity over no one trying to get into my business. And I ain't feeling bad about it, but the feeling glad about the bastard I've been grabbing with these fingers. So I've educated, dedicate the mind and making better resolutions what I'm trying to get attention. But the way this money, you can't lose, can't cruise, automated with this can't move, see? We simply have to focus on this man. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Newcastle United taking on Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And that'll be a United throw. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Chances on. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Well, I'm hearing that something has happened in the City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal from Manchester City. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great-headed finish. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And Newcastle get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? Well, apologies to Alex for having to cut her off when we did. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Gordon. Oh, this is looking promising. Cuts in from the flank. Has eyes for goal. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Played over. Struggling to get it away. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. He has time to play it over. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. United pushing to add to the lead. It'll be a corner. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So underway again and a 2-0 advantage here. This looks more than decent. Will he finish? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Elects to go short. The inside route looking promising. And able to close down the shot. Growing pressure here and another corner. He's driven in the corner. And that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. 
Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the stats tell you everything. He's a top-class striker. Even when he's having a quiet game, he can still pop up with a goal, as we may well see today. Timely intervention. This might be ideal for the counter. Pavlidis and Newcastle pushing forward with options available Casemiro the Magpie is doing well to win it back and a corner kick the referee's verdict well this has to be their way back into the game the crowd are certainly playing their part and he's fired over the corner. Not the best clearance. Closing down well. Oh, to trim back the lead. Well, when you're down by a couple of goals, you simply have to be opportunistic. Well, if they don't take those sort of chances, there's no way back for them here. Malassia. Here's Mount. And fed forwards. Oh, might be. Well, what a stop that was. Chavez. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half. So underway again here, the pendulum having already swung United's way. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. So deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Miguel Almiron. No possibilities inside the box. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Well, it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, they've decided to make a change. And they could get one back here. On to Greenwood. And they have possession again. Newcastle moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, he's through here. Can they stop it going in? And I think the threat has been averted. And very deftly cut out. A lot of reports emerging this morning in the sports blogs and tabloids that Arsenal could be... Oh, look out, Derek Charles here. A Magpie's corner. Let's see what they can do with it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Surely! Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexing from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. So the corner played into the box. And a relatively high degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, a goal update for you from the Manchester City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. In with a chance. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, Newcastle had some good fortune there, but can that now inspire them? Because they've struggled so far today. Into the advanced position.
out of play. Newcastle throw in forthcoming. And United will switch things around personnel wise. Really clever pressing. Can he find the net? Oh, that's a fine save. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Now sending it in. That strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Well, look at that. Newcastle are creating chances, but just not taking them. And that's why they're losing here. Well, they need the ball once more. They know that full well. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. On apologies to Alex for the interruption. Just to confirm, Tottenham did score in that match. And that game is on a knife edge now. Level at 2-2. Eduardo Camavinga. Could play it in. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Everton. Oh, can he score here, Derek? Can they slot at home? And a time for calm on the ball. And a textbook interception. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Can they find a late leveller? A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Well, they've decided to make a change. He's driven in the corner. Chance maybe. Threat over for now, it seems. And making sure there was no danger in the end. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Well, if Newcastle score now, these fans will go absolutely wild. What a finish we've got here. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, cleared away. Superb defending. Massive credit. And the referee blows for full time. Positives for Manchester United. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, in terms of possession and chance... Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. It is a fixture in English football that carries 